November the 3rd, 2021. Guys, a quick update. We've had a very fast-moving CME that they call a cannibal CME because it left the sun so fast that it overtook one that left the sun back on the 2nd. Already it's overtaken it. If you look to the charts on the right, the top and the bottom, the green lines indicate what's coming upon the planet. The other two, the red and blue, are for satellites. Here, we notice that between tonight and early in the morning, we're going to have a plasma density event and an increase in solar wind speed. In the green line in the bottom of this, notice around 0300 hours, this is when the impact is going to begin. But the green line in the bottom is showing that our wind, solar wind speed now is around 450 kilometers per second. It's going to drop until that impact line, again, the green line on the bottom. But guys, I think it's much faster than that because our solar wind is already over 800 kilometers per second now. But if you look at this, two CMEs left the sun. Right behind them, what they're calling a, C, a cannibal CME, overtook them and now is headed towards our planet. I think it's moving quicker than they think it is. It says, here comes a cannibal CME. The CME headed for Earth is a cannibal of Soho coronagraphs caught the storm cloud leaving the sun on November 2nd and following a slow motion solar flare in M1 in the magnetic canopy of Sunspot AR2891. We saw that yesterday. It's a cannibal because it ate up one of its own kind. These cannibal CMEs are fast coronal mass ejections that sweep up slower CMEs in front of them. This mishmash contains tangled magnetic fields and compressed plasmas that can do a good job sparking geomagnetic storms. Guys, not only that, earthquakes and the heating of the uh, lava in the magma fields. And if you look at the images from early tonight, there's a tremendous amount of lava pouring out of La Palma. The slower CMEs in this case were hurled into space on November 1st and 2nd by departing Sunspot 2887. The cannibal caught up with them almost immediately after leaving the sun. The SNOAA computer model shows what has happened. And you're seeing this is Lasco C3, Halo uh, CME incoming. The cannibal cloud swept up one whole CME and a portion of another. If NOAA's model is correct, the combined CME will make first contact with our planet around 600 UT on November the 4th. Th guys, that's about midnight on the East Coast. The model also predicts a 250 plus kilometer uh, per second increase in solar wind speed and a six-fold jump in solar wind density in the CME's wake. These conditions, if they materialize, would set the stage for geomagnetic storms or geomagnetic storms as strong as a Category G2. Expect a G3 before this is over with. But uh, we have talked about this, that these models, uh, there would be two or three CMEs leave the sun, and the models would only pick up one. And what was behind that, what is in front of it. But here is the current solar wind speed. In the purple line, in the very center of this, is the wind speed in kilometers per second. Guys, it is already over 800 kilometers per second now. They're saying it would jump up around 7. It's already here. It's earlier than what they're predicting. So watch for the quakes. Watch for an intensity and lava flow. Watch for other things that happen. The ionization of the upper atmosphere, radio blackouts, slowing down of the Internet, and other communication devices. But guys, when you're dealing with this um, wind speed here at over 800 kilometers per second, I think it's peaking right now around 814 or something like that. Let's see, right at the 810. That's very fast. That's very powerful. And the solar, the wind, uh, solar density of the protons in the chart above this in the orange has already increased as well as the temperature. And this has been going on throughout the day. That's how fast this CME is moving. They're saying it's going to come in around uh, midnight. Guys, it's about four hours early already, maybe five hours. It says now the update is saying the G3 storm warning updated. What looks like to be an interplanetary shock just past the discovered spacecraft within the past half hour. Those charts we were just looking at in the green line and purple lines, guys, that is discovered. This is likely related to the CME activity from the past several days. A minor G1 to a moderate G2 geomagnetic storm watches in effect for the next 24 hours. 
but look at the update in the middle in the orange line. It's what I was talking about. The CME passed Earth at 1957 UTC and currently has a southwest speed approaching 700 kilometers per second, but now it's over 800. The moderate G2 geomagnetic storm threshold was reached at 2146 UT. Today, a watch is now in effect for strong G3 storm conditions as well as until 300 UTC. That's That would be about uh, 9 o'clock tonight. Visible auroras will be likely at middle to high latitudes. Warning, geomagnetic K index of 7 or greater expected. Valid from uh, 2021, November the 3rd. That would be at 10 o'clock tonight uh, t until November the 4th at 300 UTC. When you see UTC, take six hours out of that for the East Coast time. So that if it's valid until November the 4th at 300 UTC, that's telling you that that's about 9 o'clock tonight. That's about three or two or three hours away. These uh, the summary geomagnetic sudden impulse, and that's what we're dealing with, guys. We know that uh, things are changing very rapidly in our solar system and on this planet. We're watching it. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.